actually threw me out of my seat a little bit because I wasn't ready for it. Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Brands Hatch. As you can hear, you can see behind me, we are here, myself and Ed, only two that can make it today. I am here to explore why the RS3, it's a very noisy Fiesta, why the RS3, the spec that I bought in, is perfect for track, and then Ed will be in another video. So stay tuned for that. Please make sure to like, bang that subscribe button for us, and enjoy the video. Stay tuned. If you haven't done a track day, I highly recommend it. They are good fun. Obviously, we've done a few now and did the ring. That right, that Fiesta is absolutely it's flying around. Uh, that's the one making all the noise as well. Ed's just finished his tuition lap. We are gonna catch up with Ed, and that'll be in Ed's video. So stay tuned. <laughs> Obviously, this is the RS3. Spec-wise, and why I think it's best for track, it's had no boxes ticked apart from RS Performance Exhaust, carbon black kit, so you get the spoiler on the top, just there, uh, and obviously all the black bits down here, wheels, etc. So yeah, the Performance Exhaust, just down there. Try not to get run over the cars whilst I'm still in. Carbon black kit. It also has a few little bits and bobs here and there, but nothing special. So what that means is it's basically only had the performance options ticked for the car. Hence why I think it's a good track spec to take around. No additional sound system in it, no sunroof as you can see, nothing else, just the performance stuff. So it's actually cooling down at the moment, I'm just taking it out for its warm-up lap. Hopefully we'll be able to get some in-car content and show you what it's like. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So you're all good, are you? Yep. Yeah. So Oh, 
brakes in the RS3, didn't you? Brakes very strong, compared to, compared to my car. First corner, when you slammed on the brakes, that was hard. Yeah. yeah, it actually threw me out of my seat a little bit because I wasn't ready for it. A lot less tyre squeal in your car. This thing felt a lot more planted for your corners. It's actually the same weight, isn't it? So I think it must be all, pretty much all, probably the rubber. Yeah, I think some new tyres would be, yeah. would be a, um, a real change. So this was the first time as well for me driving it without traction control on complete. We had a few bit of four wheel sliding bits, didn't we? Yeah. Really I think that, yeah, it wasn't necessarily traction control. I think maybe that was probably just going a little bit too hot into the corners. But I suppose in four-wheel drive cars, you drive yourself out of the corners yeah. a little bit, don't you? So maybe maybe it was a bit of that probably contributed. Well, that'll be on the video. You'll have seen it, I think, by this point in the video. So. My turn. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's a bit hard though. That's the end of the track day for us, I think. We've just been out in the quad, and obviously I've been out in the RS3. There's lots of very nice cars here. enjoyed ourselves hopefully it's been educational like I said the actual RS3 itself is not highly specced it's only got three boxes ticked carbon inside carbon outside and an RS exhaust so I think it makes it the perfect RS3 for the track I'm hopefully by the clips you've seen you'll see me going too hot into some corners we pushed it as Ed pushed the Julia which is there if you enjoy the content make sure to join us on the next video we're trying to keep surprising everybody we surprise ourselves say goodbye Ed goodbye, goodbye.